What is up YouTube? Thank you guys for coming by my channel today. I am Justin and this is Cinematic Souls. You're probably curious to see my first time on a one wheel XR. I will caveat this by saying that I have been on an XR, but let's say maybe I took it around the block, barely rode on it for a couple of seconds. I'll give you my thoughts and opinions after you watch the B-roll clip. It's about a minute, so if you want to skip forward and watch the amazing ending, you can. If you're curious, watch through and check out my experience. And afterwards, I'll talk about my thoughts and opinions about the XR, and uh, we'll go from there. So I guess we will roll the clip. Roll the clip. Oh, that, that's me. Okay, I got this. Here we go. Yeah, I finally fell. Ugh. I don't know. Ugh. Ugh. I must have hit a bump. Ugh. Darn, I'm good. Woo! That was scary. Walk it off. Ugh. Yeah. That one hurts. That one still hurts a little bit. Even watching that clip, my left shoulder didn't feel too right for the next uh, couple of weeks, but I'm all good now. What do I think about it? Uh, my XR comes on Monday. So. First impressions of the XR, it's definitely noticeable in terms of the speed. It jumps up from 16 miles per hour for the Pint to 19 miles per hour for the XR. That slight difference is definitely noticeable. I feel it in the pickup and I can feel it in kind of the speed that you can maintain. It feels great, I really enjoy it. I think in terms of the carving and maneuverability, it's a bit different in terms of, it's not as good. It's just, uh, it's harder to turn. It's a wider board, it's a wider tire. It just doesn't feel as smooth as the Pint. I think it'll take some time to get used to it. It's just, I rode on the Pint for almost a year now, so it's just different. But I can't really dive into it too much because I only got to ride it for maybe like an hour or so. So I can't really give you the best review, but I'll definitely create a follow-on video after I rode my XR for a little bit and really give you my thoughts and opinions in terms of taking it to work or just riding it around the neighborhood or going on adventures with my friend. Please ride safe. I, like have mentioned in my other videos, I was not wearing my helmet that day. Unfortunately, I forgot to grab it before running out of the house. That's not normal. I usually always wear my helmet. So from now on, you'll see it in all my videos. That's just me personally, but ultimately it's up to you. I still say, Better safe than sorry. So, hope you guys like this week's video. I know it's not super long, but I figure I'd post something and nothing, and everyone loves a good one wheel crash. And if you have a second, please comment below and let me know what you think about my amazing crash and if you've had other crashes similar to that. And if you guys wanna see more content like that, please hit that subscribe button as I'll be posting every week and trying to give you guys some more entertaining content, um, whether educational or yeah. 
I also want to point out this whole facial hair thing is kind of just a thing that started happening during the quarantine and pandemic. So please don't judge me for it. I look ridiculous. I know, but you know what? Why not? It's a quarantine. Might as well have a blast and get weird, right? I don't know. Anyways, maybe you guys have some crazy facial hair going on. Comment below and let me know if you've kind of grown out this crazy facial thing. So uh, don't get used to this. It's just a phase. I think. Yeah, it's a phase. I'm gonna get rid of this. Right. So anyways, that's about all I got for this week. And it's time for me to go somewhere? Yeah. Okay, bye.